hello friend so in this video we will discuss what is mean by monomer and what is mean by polymer this is the video number one from the introduction to plastic we will discuss complete uh, uh, plastic product design uh, from basic to advanced so this one is a complete series so stay connected uh, so for that if you are new here please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever we are uploading the video so let break down the monomer and polymer so mono it means that a one or a single unit uh, mer means it is a unit okay so monomer means single unit polymer uh, poly it means that many or a number of so polymer means number of units or many units so the plastic actually the name it is uh, comes from the greek word plastikos and it meaning is to mold and to form means this plastic uh, actually it is formed into uh, different shape and it is a property of the plastic so it can form in the complex shape this polymer as i said it is a large molecule made up of a smaller one means there are number of uh, small uh, atoms uh, of the molecules uh, uh, monomers are come together and form the long chain which is nothing but the polymer it contains the number of monomer so monomer is a single molecule and the atom and polymer is the collection of or the collection of the monomers that forms the chain from where we are getting the monomer so we are getting the monomer uh, uh, from the nature okay like in the natural gas oil and the plants uh, there are two types of polymer it one is a natural polymer and the synthetic polymer so natural polymers are uh, naturally occurring like a uh, wood uh, leather cotton rubber hair fingernails so these are the natural polymer so here the monomers and the process of chemical bonding occur naturally they are naturally bonded together monomers are naturally bonded together and uh, they are forming like a wood leather this type of natural polymers they are forming another is the synthetic polymers like uh, we uh, man made you can say the synthetic polymers are the man made polymers where we are producing this type of polymers in the lab so with the chemical bonding uh, uh, we are uh, joining the all the uh, monomers uh, we are forcing the all the monomers come together and form the polymers this is the man made polymers we are producing in the lab okay like uh, nylon polyester polyethylene so there are number of uh, synthetic polymers and generally the synthetic polymer we we generalize the synthetic polymer term as a plastic so in general term we are saying plastic so these are the synthetic polymers means all the plastic are the synthetic polymers rubber is a means a, in the natural polymer uh, it comes in the natural polymer also we are naturally uh, getting the rubbers but um, the synthetic polymer also we are producing in the lab by following the natural process of rubber so here we can see uh, so this is the chemical uh, process where uh, the ethylene so ethylene is the monomer so the number of n is the number of monomer come together and uh, form the polyethylene so it is a polymer so here ethylene is the monomer and polyethylene it, it is a polymer so in the polymerization process actually the number of monomers are joined together and it will form the polyethylene so this process we will discuss in the upcoming videos in detail and uh, here you can see this uh, number of uh, the double covalent bond makes the monomer reactive so the double covalent bond here need so that the monomers will be more reactive and joined together so all synthetic polymer consider as a plastic and it is shaped by heat and pressure so all synthetic polymers we can call it as a plastic and here you can see the monomer list uh, there are number of monomers but i have listed here few 
so like uh, you can see ethylene is the monomer and the chemical formula C2H4 and the uh, from the ethylene the polymer is the polyethylene likewise the uh, propylene uh, the chemical formula you can see refer here and it is a po polypropylene is the uh, polymer so likewise pol uh, vi uh, vinyl chloride it is converted in, uh, into polyvinyl chloride so likewise these are the monomers and the these are the polymers uh, respective to the these monomers and like you can see the ethylene and uh, the polyethylene it is used in the uh, plastic bag bottles container toy and piping and the polypropylene uh, polypropylene it is uh, used in uh, automotive part textile uh, packaging and reusable container polyvinyl chloride if you see it is generally called as a pvc so pvc pipes like uh, it is used in pipes cable flooring medical devices so we will uh, means this will cover we will cover uh, the all types of material and their property in the upcoming videos in the introduction to the plastic so here uh, you can see the first uh, 10 alkene so alkene is nothing but the monomers so we can see this is the alkene and these are the 10 first alkene so here we have the ethene uh, ethylene so ethylene formula and here the uh, structure of the uh, that ethylene and the propylene and propylene chemical formula and the structure so likewise so here at least two carbon at uh, two carbon to form the double bond so at least two carbon uh, carbon we needed to form the double uh, double bond here and this double bond is uh, very important uh, to have the very reactiveness in the chemical reaction so alkene contain at least uh, one double covalent bond between carbon atom so that the double bond makes them very reactive in the chemical bonding process so methane uh, it is actually written as CH4 it is alkane but not alkene so here uh, the methane is not listed here so it is not comes under alkene so it is a alkane so many polymer are formed from the alkene uh, which are a family of hydro molecules with the general formula CN H2N so this is the general formula uh, where we have for the monomer alkene so friend I hope uh, you understood the uh, what is meant by polymer and what is meant by monomer so in the next video uh, we will discuss the polymerization process so watch the complete series of the uh, plastic product design so thank you for watching see you in the next video